Mabuhay! Great day guys! Welcome to TSA Toy Stash in action with another toy review and today we're gonna check out the DC Multiverse Azrael Batman Armor from McFarlane Toys. Now first of all guys I just want to say a big shout out for Wildcard Collections on helping us you know pick this bad boy up. Thank you so much for that and yeah let's go ahead and check out this figure. Now before that guys I just want to share that you know uh, this Azrael figure has one of the best uh, you know histories about it and initially this Batman is supposed to be like a replacement Batman particular earth or you know this particular storyline uh, Batman you know doesn't want to work for the one percenters already and the one percenters hired a new Batman which is Azrael and then you know Azrael got a new funding and that's why he got this new Batman armor he is essentially the new Batman for this story arc so yeah enough about that let's go ahead and check out the figure all right now for the figure guys you know the packaging is just on the standard you know McFarlane box multiverse as you can see here's the front here is the back and here are the sides of it all right so let's get it open all right guys so here he is outside the packaging and it's completely a solid figure right so I do have a few kicks on it uh, but yeah I'll tell you that in a little while so let's first get to the detail all right, so for the detail guys, this has one of those menacing look and it is a chunky figure, right? So for the head, all right, so the head sculpt is really, really nice. I like how they did all those patterns right there, especially on the faceplate. And so and I like those eyes, you know, that red blood eyes. And so it's way better than other paint jobs that I saw, you know, really, especially for this. And this is actually a new sculpt for this Batman Azrael and really digging it. And yeah, going here for the shoulder pads, that's just really sick. If you kind of look at it here at the side, you know, there is that large, you know, shoulder piece right there, you know, both sides. And you gotta get down here, yeah, and so the abs, right, so the detail on the abs is really, really cool. And I like the, I like really the, the paint job that they did here. The, the bat logo is really, really similar with the comic art, yeah, and so I like how they did that there. Yeah, and really awesome right there and yeah for the arms yeah, and again uh, this is really cool so these are rubber pieces again look at that there's a little bit of disformity but yeah a little hot water it will help that you know get straight up and yeah not really nothing much here for the legs and so it is armor plates and this is the only differences yeah so this side there has the pocket yeah, so that's it uh, here at the back you got that you know uh, that cape right here. I like I like the cape, you know, it's just, but it is really big and th these things find me bothering and so maybe they slot it in here and so, I don't know. Yeah, so, yep, let's try that here. All right, so they do slot in so that's way better than I thought. <laughs> and here at the, you know, uh, the, uh, down under end so you can see everything else uh, within the scope. All right, guys. Now for the accessories. All right, so this has the exact same accessory with the Azrael figure. The only difference is, is, you know, the handle right here. But it does have that crucified Jesus, you know, uh, right there uh, in the middle. But yeah, that's basically it. There's also no fire, so this is just what you get. Again, guys, if you want to count these things, all right. So again, I don't really count, but yeah, you can count these. You know, you got the card and also the base for the McFarlane figures. All right, now, guys, let's go ahead and check out his, you know, articulation. Uh, I'm a little bit, you know, both impressed and also a little bit bothered. Uh, they had the new, uh, uh, you know, articulations already updated on the new figures for the Dark Knight medals. Uh, this still doesn't have it, so I'm gonna show you that. So for the head, guys. He does have that bow joint, all right? So he could, you know, raise his head up in a pretty good range, down about this much, you know, and then side to side. You know, and this is gonna be hindered by the, you know, uh, the sculpt right there. So you can tilt his head a little, yeah, and so we're gonna that in. And then uh, for his arm, so he has a hinge here, you can raise it up, and yeah, about this much. So it's a little bit But this is the entire rubber piece, so you could raise it up. Any way you like, yeah. So you can raise up his hand, try to put it up, yeah, there go, yeah. And so you can raise it up about that much. And also, there's a butterfly joint right here, so you can, you know, do more articulations there. So, again, this is just because of the scope of the shoulder pads, yeah, it's for the articulation. But it does have that, you know, McFarlane 
a butterfly joint there uh, it does have bicep fubu yeah and so you can move it as well right here and a single jointed uh you know elbow right here so this is what i'm telling you guys so uh, the Dark Knight Metals already have an updated version about this double jointed elbow. Still, this has the single joint elbow, yeah, and doesn't move here, yeah, but uh, also has a bow hinge wrist right there so you can move it yeah, and so move it around. So, again, this is a really cool already articulation here for the arms. And uh, going here for the entire upper torso, yeah, and so it does have a bow joint, yeah, and you can move it around, yeah, pretty good range of articulation. So uh, for the waist, uh, yeah, it does have the waist, guys, also a bow joint, so you really can't see it that much, and so I'm gonna try to do it here in this crotch, and so you can see the pattern moving, and so uh, if you move it here at the upper torso, yeah, you can get a range of articulation pretty good. Okay, and he can do the splits about this much and so this is because of the you know uh, right here for the scope and then um, right here for the, for the thigh swivel and so it does have a thigh swivel right there and the double joint knees yeah I really like it and so and then also a bow hinge you know ankles yeah so you can move it around there and then you can also raise his hand, uh, entire leg up about that much then back about that much all right guys now applying the accessory for the batman azrael uh it is a little bit concerning for me all right so i did try it out a while ago and it it was really bothering for me right here at the right hand yes because i'm a medium masikip and as you can see here there is a little bit uh, you get paint chips if you try to keep on, you know, stabbing that sword inside uh, the hand right here. Uh, yeah, so it's very tight right there. So what I'm just gonna do to you guys, I'm not gonna risk any paint apps, you know, being uh, painted off, chipped off. Uh, I'm gonna do here for the left hand, yeah, and so that's because the left hand right here has a wider arm and also i could just snug it in right there yeah and so he could hold it again guys this is just very easy all right you just need to slot it in and it's on your preference if you want and you know if you're willing to take that risk i don't want to so that's what you get all right guys now for the size comparison as you can see here here is the batman azrael figure next to the infected superman and also for the dark knight's metal build the figure merciless so this is what you get guys he is a little chunky all right i mean he's not little chunky he is chunky you know it has a like a very similar size for the torso you know for the body type at the merciless figure but yeah it does you know it you do see the size comparison right there but i do like it because uh, you know he does look way better right here on the size especially this doesn't wear any armor and that they he actually wears armor so you know you get the sense of you know the feel that he does wear that batman armor so i like it all right guys so that's my take for the dc multiverse azrael batman armor figure you know from mcfarland toys i love the sculpt the paint apps and you know this is just a huge and awesome figure guys uh, i do like it and you know i a little bit bummed out though for the you know for the articulation on you know he didn't update it yet here but i uh, do appreciate that you know on the figures uh, that were upcoming he updated it you know mcfarland did a very good job i love it and you know i can't wait for more figures like this you know especially on improved figures as such as this one so yeah i'm gonna give this figure guys a 4.8 out of 5 rating you know and yeah uh, do remember guys if you're new to the channel please do hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give this video a like while you are it that would be very much appreciated and yeah uh, remember life is one big collection peace out love you guys god bless